help me, please. These are three entire videos on eight different types of Warframe players. This video is all of them plus 10 more. Let's start off with the the always AFK gamer or AFK gamer is that one guy who stands still during all the missions because he literally doesn't even have to play and he'll kill things. This Warframe player's builds are so overpowered it makes anyone under 100 hours look like a brand new gamer. Stop making me look bad. I swear to God I try. I swear to God. It's just the thing with, with the thing and MR, it, it's hard, okay? We all know who I'm referring to here, right? You know those adults with a 14 year old brain that buy the new character because... <coughs> I mean Wisp. We all know why Wisp is popular, don't we? We all know why Wisp has dominated the Warframe community. Don't look surprised, you dirty fuck. I know your secret. We all do. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play Wisp. Play Wisp one more time. <laughs> The rich boy is that one Warframe player that just wants to skip thousands of hours of gameplay. And can anyone blame them? Have you seen how hard I am? I mean, how hard it is to get Ivara? Have you seen what it takes? I just unlocked this planet. I can't farm the spy mission that quickly. It will take me hundreds of hours <coughs> or dollars before I get Ivara. And you get it in seconds because you have money. And I'm jealous. I'm jealous of your power. Just like Thanos, the Warframe farmer only wants to make some fat stacks of plat. Is that so bad? He just wants to get as many mods as possible from missions he can run. Flip those mods for plat and buy other shit which is useful to him. Could he be making real money in the real world and actually make an income instead of wasting time? Sure. Does he want to do that? No. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck? The idol on Warframe player is that one guy who hits you up in the Discord DMs and it's as if he's on crack. The first thing he says is, get on! We're farming Eidolons. It's night time, pussy, and we don't have time to waste. Get on! I need me these Eidolon pods. You don't understand. You know how much plant we can make right now? No, I didn't think so. Get on. Here comes the money! This Warframe player knows he'll never buy plant. He's serious this time. He'll never buy it. Like me, I'm a Warframe free-to-play player. I'm not gonna spend a dime on plat, I promise. Not a single day will go by and I won't ever think I'm buying plat to- Well, fuck. This Warframe player is dedicated to getting 100% in the game. He won't stop until every mission. Every achievement are done and complete. He's min-maxed his way to a million damage zoles. He's better than all of us, has more money than all of us, and gets way more bitches. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't contain myself. You guys look pretty gay. Thanks. Not as gay as us, though. Oh, please, Craig, we're ten times gayer than you. The fashionista? No, not fascist. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Is that one Warframe player who, you know, uses the... The button, that one button, you know that one fucking button in the character customization screen? That one forbidden- Oh fuck, he used it. He used the button. He used the fucking- The I play for fun player is that one guy or girl that just plays Warframe for fun. That one amazing player that only wants to play the game to experiment with new builds, weapons, and abilities. These guys are the lifeblood of Warframe, the only players that play the game for no ulterior motives or profit, or because they have an insane amount of free time and nothing else to do. But the next type of player is the complete oh, opposite. Shit. Like the I play for fun, they have an insane amount of free time, but the level capper is the upper echelon when it comes to power and overall damage in Warframe. They play solely Steel Path and against 9999999999 leveled enemies and melt them. Their weapons are so modded and do so much damage that they have to play Steel Path and even then they win too easily. These overpowered goliaths are rare, but you'll probably find them in any mission on the path to steal. But let's move on to something a little more calm. 
The dojo designer is secretly an interior designer, but either doesn't want to admit it or just doesn't know it yet. Their dojo designer's end game is to simply max the shit out of his dojo and create the ultimate dojo for his clan. <laughs> Lore lovers. Why did I hit that R so hard? Now those types of Warframe players who just want to see the story. They take their time and focus on the lore instead of the millions of other shit they can do in the game. The lore lovers can have a hard time though, because the less enjoyable parts of the game for them can be necessary. It can be annoying having to farm shit in order to continue the story. The new war quest is a perfect example. You need a Railjack and a Necromech. Now the next one has a brain deficiency. The goldfish doesn't have the attention span to play the game the whole way through, so instead they look up guides on YouTube for missions they don't need to look up guides for. The Warframe content creator community is practically geared towards these players with guides on everything from farming neurodes, which is literally the first rare item you get in the game, to farming Exceltras, Max Zors, and the Kubazar. The goldfish will understand how to get Rivens before I've even completed Neptune, but they won't be able to get it because they have to look up a guide for every single fucking node on the map. Do I have to explain what a girl is? Really? Okay, fine, let's do this. The Warframe Gamer Girl is exactly the same as the Warframe Gamer Guy, just their genitals are different and their idea of fashion is a hell of a lot better than us. Let's just be real here. <laughs> the speedsters are Gauss, Wisp, and Vault Mains. And that's all the frames I can think of right now. The speedsters have one goal, go fast as fuck. They modify their frame so that they're permanently in sprint mode. They go so fast that they can't even kill things. They beat missions by running past everyone and objectives, and they hate defense missions because they have to stand still. <laughs> The anti-establishment player is that one Warframe player who will never change weapons or frames. They'll never farm for overpowered tools. They will never farm, period. And the only reason they level up their MR is because of mission and story progression. The funny thing is, you'll never meet one that's not constantly complaining about not unlocking things. Put in some effort, farm some shit, I mean, come on. It's like 90% of the game is farming. It's not that hard. Gentlemen. The Spy is that type of Warframe gamer that plays Warframe but can suddenly switch on a dime, morphing into any type of gamer. They can even switch to a hater and go play Destiny 2, like the weird, unmedicated, bipolar, paranoid schizophrenic that they secretly are. The Spy is not the type of player that you want to mess with, and many years of TF2 gameplay have taught me that they can switch to the guy that leaves the game, or even switch to the thrower, the guy that throws. Disgusting! The members of the Grenier Space Program are the Warframe players that love knockback. They will intentionally mod for glass, knockback, or just use that one Daviri Paradox weapon, so that whatever they hit will reach another planet before it actually dies. As space explorers themselves, all they want to do is shove the wonders of the universe right up the ass of any enemy they come across. Sneaky Snitch is that one Warframe player that actually likes to stealth in the game. That was not English. Actually likes to play stealth in the game. Even though going in guns blazing is fun, and arguably the proper way to play the game, the Sneaky Snitch exclusively owns frames that can go invisible. I'm guilty of this as I love to steal the life force from Grenier like a Death Eater from Harry Potter when I'm playing Ivara. And no, I'm not sorry for forgetting the objective exists. My heart is cold. My moves are the headshot enjoyers are those types of players that go exclusively for headshots and for crits. It's not rare to see these guys stack as many crit chance mods on top of one another just to get that sweet, sweet, sweet red crit. If they could have every single slot filled with a galvanized mod, they fucking would. The silly status player has nothing to offer your team during a boss fight or farm, except status effects. Even though they're not actually playing the game themselves and are instead just buffing teammates, these players can be an essential piece to every Warframe team. Don't underestimate them, because like Saul Goodman, if you fuck with them, they will leave you and never help you ever again. The 
goth Warframe player is that one player that exclusively uses red and fucking black. Like a teenage RGB gaming setup from 2015, the only two colors that this gamer will use for the fashion on their frames are red and black. In fact, it's said that these players are so uncreative that they even see the world around them exclusively in red and black. <coughs> Not that I'm any better. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. Taking after Ash from Pokemon, the trainer's only goal in Warframe is to catch them all, and in doing so, becoming the ultimate pet trainer. It's not uncommon to see these guys with maxed out Kubros, little robots, or Vulpa Filers. In love with their pets almost as much as Ash, they will do anything to keep their pet alive, going so far as rezzing their animals over their actual teammates. What some call the ultimate ratio. Yanaro's main is that type of player who, even after thousands of hours, refuses to actually learn the game. They don't understand any of the mechanics, even the simple ones like serration means damage, even though it fucking says it. They are a wasted slot on the squad because Inaros is shit frame. They only play Inaros because it's the most brain dead frame in the game, and any other frame is too hard to play. Rub the lotion on your skin, throw the lotion in the basket, I will you power, beat this ratchet, death beat with this hatchet. The damage is like playing Wisp, Mirage, Rhino, and other or subsuming their abilities on any frame. Why you ask? Damage. They want to get the most out of their weapons and specifically use weapons that work well with frames specifically modded to let these abilities like Raw or Eclipse last eons and do 6 million more damage than you or I can do on a good day. The most dangerous Warframe player, the hybrid is a combination of 2, 3, 4, or even 26 of the types of Warframe players I've already covered. The hybrid swaps in and out from each type of player each day, sometimes he loves farming pets, sometimes he loves farming in general, sometimes he only wants to play Steel Path with max levels on. Conclave are players that exclusively play the Conclave. Could just play one of the millions of FPS games that are popping right now with better FPS mechanics, but no. They'd rather chill in Conclave, destroying their enemies one by one. Because I'm a beta male Australian, I don't have access to the Conclave because there aren't enough people playing it, but there has to be somewhere out there where this player exists. The Romans are those types of Warframe players that just play the free roam areas. Orb Valus, Plains of Earth, the Cambian Drift, and of course the Duviri Paradox are their favorite places in the entire game. They don't do anything but farm these areas, gaining standing for the relative groups, farming Eidolons, Heists, or Vaults. It's very possible that the only in-game content they've cared about before finishing all free roams ended at Deimos. This type of Warframe player will take hours in the Simulcrum and Sanctuary just to test how far they can take that one niche weapon nobody uses, for no other reason but to prove people wrong about it. For some deranged reason they find it too beautiful to throw away and they will make it work and maybe even take it to Steel Path. <laughs> Tanks are those types of Warframe players with an absolute shit ton of health and armor, but they're usually slow as fuck. These players are some of the friendliest though, so don't judge too hard if you've already extracted and they're still halfway to the exit. When an FPS gamer plays Warframe, something special happens. The perfect fusion between the headshot enjoyer and a cracked up shroud appears before your eyes. These players prefer shotguns over most other weapons because of the built-in multi-shot and the fact you can quite easily make them hit 10k damage and kill almost anything with a headshot. I know this because I literally am one. The hard carry is that one type of Warframe player that looks out for virgin players. Oh wait, that sounded wrong. They will hard carry and help out all new players wanting to farm frames like Rhino or Mirage. Two stellar picks for new players, or just help them out with missions they might not be able to complete, like Kuva weapon missions. The more type of Warframe player is that type of player that loves the recent Warframe content and keeps asking for more. After three videos of the same fucking thing just reworded, you'd think they'd be bored by now, but hell no, they want more. There is a point though where we as a community have to realize it's gone way too far, and at 44 types of Warframe players, I think we've hit that point. That's the 44 types of Warframe players, like, subscribe and check out this video to see my attempt at the Duviri Paradox speedrun world record.